Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadaj. Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. The double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who've been ruled well through the Spirit, teaching His word and believing His word to the best of their ability. Lord willing, the Most High can continue to put it in their spirit to endure. And the mighty Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered four corners of the earth, teaching His word and believing His word to the best of their ability. Lord willing, the Most High continue to put it on their hearts to endure. Shalom to the wives and the single sisters that's believers in His word. Lord willing, you continue to pursue to be a loving and silent, virtuous wife. And Lord willing, the Most High have mercy on the other brothers and sisters that's not in the faith. This is going to be quick. And I just title this. This is what Rich Jake would say. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 7 to 8. All our lives we wandered across unmarked deserts. Instead of following the road which the Lord wanted us to travel, and this lawlessness led us to ruin. We were so proud of ourselves. We bragged about how rich we were. And now, what good has it done us? All those things are gone now. They have disappeared like a shadow, like something you hear, then forget. Drop it down to verse 14. I'll start at 13. It says, it is the same with us. We were born and then we ceased to be. We left no sign of virtue behind us. We were destroyed by our wickedness. What hope do wicked people have? Only the hope of straw blown about in the wind. The hope of ocean foam that disappears in the storm. The hope of smoke in the breeze. Their hope lasts no longer than our memory of a guest who stays one day and leaves the next. At the end of the day, what shall riches profit a man in the days of Yahweh Shemel Shai? So I had to go. I had to come here now that I read that. This is Sirach Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus. And I believe chapter 13, verse 19, it says, As the uh, wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich man eat up the poor. As the proud hate humility, so doeth the rich abhor the poor. A rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friends, but a poor man being down is thrust away by his friends. When a rich man is fallen, he have many helpers. He speak of things not to be spoken, yet men justify him. The poor man slipped, yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and could have no place. When a rich man speak of every man, holdeth his tongue and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumbled, they will help to overthrow him. The riches are good unto a man that have no sin. And poverty is evil in the mouth of the ungodly. You got to let it sink in your mind. What's the point of being rich? If you're still full of sin. What's the point of being rich? And you not glorifying your habashim, your shine. Like your righteous forefathers did. What's the point of being rich when it when it grows so many Jake into being proud, lazy, rare boy, didn't want to follow the same wisdom instruction as Solomon is getting wise counsel from the elders, but wanted to get counsel from the young. You got Nebuchadnezzar who had his kingdom, but all he had to do was glorify the Lord, but he boasts on his riches. Esau, the wicked witch, <laughs> them test two monkeys, want to destroy people, nations, and constantly want to get rich, want to be the greatest, 
want to put his foot in everything. He wants to be the richest known man on the earth. He want to be so rich that eventually he could just be called God because of how much money and how much power he has as a human. But I want to tell you, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 8, 28. For the most high love is none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. So if you want to have all this money in the world and you don't dwell with wisdom, the Lord don't love you. And with that, Shalom.